It is 514 this Saturday morning. We're taking a live look over Bar Harbor. Clear now, Tyler, it was super rainy yesterday, kind of like the typical April afternoon, just the rain showers, a little bit dreary. Yeah, Chloe, I would say that it's that like the saying, April showers bring May flowers, except yesterday was more like the April deluge, hopefully brings some, <laughs> some May flowers, <laughs> some leaves on the trees. <laughs> yeah, exactly, whatever goes with that, right? Uh, but certainly, uh, we're not talking about heavy rain like that this morning. That is the good news. Some fog out there in some spots um, that could impact your early Saturday morning commute, but otherwise pretty quiet. Let's dive into current conditions out there. In Portland right now, we are at 37 degrees, a mix of clouds and clear sky out there. Clouds are going to filter in though as we go through the next couple of hours ahead of our next weather maker in the form of some showers for the day today. Winds are calm out there to start your weekend. Again, I mentioned it uh, just a minute ago here, current visibility, tracking some uh, reduced visibility, really uh, mid coast sections to down east points. Also, as you head uh, back into central Maine there, Waterville, uh, less than a half mile, quarter mile visibility in Augusta, Bangor, Bar Harbor as well, less than a mile in Rockland. Uh, so you can see those are some of the problem spots this morning. You're going to want to take it slow uh, if you're out on the roads there, at least for the next couple of hours until that fog burns off. Uh, as a result, we do have a dense fog advisory, the uh, gray shading there uh, in effect through the mid-morning hours. Again, won't be too impactful beyond uh, 9, 10 o'clock, but something to keep in mind if you are out and about early this morning. Current temperatures across the area, southern and central sections back to the western mountains, pretty consistently in the 30s. Rumford at 29, one of the cool spots. Even Mount Washington at 25 to start the morning. A lot of uh, low to mid 30s out there. Much of the same as you head back to northern areas, uh, down east sections as well. Generally running in the 30s to start your Saturday. We'll add on about 15 degrees or so to those temperatures, depending on where you go today. Satellite radar shows pretty quiet conditions across the area. We've got those clear skies with the clouds starting to fill back in, uh, especially across western sections back into New Hampshire as well. I'll widen this out here. You can see that uh, we do have some more unsettled weather on tap. Um, that uh, area of uh, green shading, the rain there, uh, New York into parts of western Mass, that is headed our way in the form of some showers, potentially even a thunderstorm as we go through the afternoon today with another area of low pressure moving on through. It won't be an organized batch of rain, but certainly uh, we will be dodging some raindrops, I think, both today and then potentially again uh, for your afternoon tomorrow. So today we will see those mostly cloudy skies, again, showers and storms passing through. High temperatures either side of 50 degrees. I think low to mid 50s as you work your way inland. Coastal spots going to have a hard time getting to 50 today, I think. And the reason why is that we'll have a slight uh, southeast wind that's a uh, coastal wind direction off the water there that I think will cut those temperatures down just a little bit, but could get close to 50, I think, along the coast. Regardless, that's right around where we should be for this time of year. Let's track it out hour by hour for your uh, weekend plans, any outdoor plans that you might have here. Early this morning, no problems out there besides the fog. I think by mid to late morning, potentially seeing some shower activity crossing into parts of western Maine here. We'll have another round of showers move through early afternoon. You can see here this is 4 o'clock. Uh, potentially some heavy bands of showers. Again, a thunderstorm can't be ruled out. Potentially even a little bit of hail, especially across uh, southwest Maine. Those will pivot through as we go through the evening hours and then clear out of here as we head toward early Sunday. I think by right around 8 o'clock here on Sunday morning. Mostly sunny skies for a lot of us. Mountain sections hanging on to the clouds. We'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine for your Sunday. Temperatures once again, uh, I think low 50s for the most part. And some pop-up showers possible as we go towards Sunday afternoon and evening, but not nearly as organized uh, as I think what we'll see as far as showers go today. Your marine forecast sees 5 to 7 feet. Uh, winds a bit uh, gusty out there up to 25 this afternoon. A small craft advisory is in effect as a result of that. Here's your seven-day forecast. Pretty, uh, I don't want to say unsettled, but certainly some shower chances um, are, you know, prevalent throughout this forecast. I think this weekend, again, another chance as we head toward Tuesday, uh, middle to end of next week as well. But in between there, I think uh, you look at Monday, a really nice day with a lot of sunshine, temperatures in the 50s, approaching 60, I think, in a lot of areas as we head toward the middle of next week. Otherwise, uh, you know, Chloe, I think temperatures overall are going to be pretty consistent in the 50s, approaching 60. Um, it's just dodging those shower chances uh, several times over in the seven day forecast, but we can deal with that after everything this winter, right? Exactly. At this point, I'd rather have rain than snow, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> Thanks. Tyler. I think a lot of people are in agreement. <laughs>